Hello, and this is part two of my 48 hour challenge. I'm Beck, and welcome to my nightmare. I don't know what possessed me to do a 48 hour island, but here we are. As you can see, KK is here because after a painful nine plus hours, I finally got a three star rating. If you want to see part one, sub to my channel and go check it out. But enough of this, we've seen it all before. It's time to finally start decorating. But is it really? Is it really? I see Tom and I get the building app, grab my DIY and go and check out Nook's Cranny. Got a couple of good items too. I go to resident services and grab a few things from the ABD and then it's time to look at some custom designs. I've already got a list of creator codes that I want to check out, so I head to Ables to have a bit of a squiz. Some of these codes are just so cute and I'm really happy with the ones that I've downloaded so far. I will leave a list in the description below of all of the codes that I use in this video if you want to go and check them out for yourself. I logged on later on that day, but before I'd done that, I did change the date back to September, not realizing I'd actually changed it to my in-game birthday. I was really confused when I first logged on. But I got through all of the festivities and then I went about my business and done all of my dailies. You know how I said in my last video that I need to be more organized? Yeah, well that doesn't really happen. I try to keep up with the routine, but everything just gets so chaotic and hectic, it eventually just goes out the window. While I'm running around doing my dailies, I also go to halves and start unlocking all of the stalls there. It's during this time that I see Hazel has a thought bubble and I'm like, ma'am, excuse me. She is my cutest villager. She is not going anywhere. I ignored her in the hopes that it might transfer over to someone else, but unfortunately it didn't. So I spent a bit of time time traveling and getting all of the boring stuff done. I have Leaf and Cyrus unlocked at Harv's Island. And then here we are. I'm finally ready to start decorating. I'm only 12 plus hours into a 48 hour challenge and I haven't done anything really, but make a huge mess. But whatever, that's fine. I'm going to be starting off with my entrance and I've decided to do a meadow theme. This was inspired by another island I seen on YouTube by Diana Daisies. I'm not sure if they post anymore, but I will leave a link to their channel in the description below if you want to go and check it out. But I remember ages ago Diana done a meadow themed island and I just loved it. It was so cute. So I took a lot of inspo from that for my entrance. I'm using all white flowers because I cannot be bothered trying to breed flowers. I really don't have the time. Plus the white flowers are my favorite. I just want to do a nice relaxing vibe, very cluttered still of course, but that is the beauty of using a lot of flowers and weeds as decoration. You can just walk right through them and they still fill up an area really nicely. I was naive though in thinking that because I'm using so many flowers that this area wouldn't take very long. That is an incorrect statement. <laughs> I really dropped the ball there. Um, it took forever. I have completely lost track of how many flowers I have planted by this point. Honestly, I have no idea. I moved nooks out of the way while I was doing this because it was getting in the way and I found it too distracting. Plus it wasn't going to be staying there anyway. Here is the final entrance. Let me know what you think. I absolutely love it and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. So I wasted a lot of time planting flowers and doing, I don't know, a heap of necessary but really boring things. And then I head off to a mystery island because I actually totally forgot that Sid asked to leave. I wanted to try and find someone who had a log cabin house and I ended up inviting Sydney. She does have a log cabin, but it has a purple roof. 
I'm just going to have to make it work. I didn't want to risk auto filling and end up with someone who has a really ugly house. Now here we are finally on to the next build. While I was time traveling to grow flowers and trees, I moved Hazel's house to the left of resident services. I wanted to have some sort of path leading to her house and I was going to build her a farm, but it didn't matter how hard I tried or what I did, I just couldn't get anything to work. I was so mad at myself because I'd wasted so much time and in the end I moved Hazel's house and decided to go with something else instead anyway. I also moved to the museum and I decided to extend the meadow that I had built at the entrance and then behind that I'm going to put a couple of houses where the museum was. So after doing some more time traveling to grow some stunted trees and clearing the area it is time to get decorating. Because this wasn't what I had originally planned on doing I was kind of all over the place for this area. I spent a lot of time chaotically putting down custom designs and trying to figure out what to put where. Because I have very little items and DIYs I was feeling a little bit lost. But I think in the end it turned out okay. I continued on with the fence line and made a cute little sitting area and added in a vegetable patch. Planting all of the flowers was really boring so I cut most of that out. It was just a lot of me running back and forth all the time. After I finished the front area I cleared some space and marked out where I wanted some houses to go. Then done a bit more time traveling. I feel like that's all I do for this whole entire video. Um, and I moved Skies and Goldie's houses. I came across red while I was doing this so I decided to time travel back and forth a few more times so I could get some more items. I got a few good items this way and a beautiful statue. I done this about 4 or 5 times and then I had to go and earn some bells because I was running out of money. But after all of that time traveling the flowers here have grown and this is the final look. I really love how this turned out. Now I'm going to show you what I've done with Goldie and Skies Yards. I'm just going to do a quick before and after. This area only took me about 45 minutes to an hour and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. Anyway, on to the next build and if I'm ever going to get this island done, I really need to get my butt into gear. As far as the videos go, it does take a long time to edit, so sometimes it will be just a quick before and after shot of what I've been up to. But the next area that I'm working on is for Hazel. Behind Sky and Goldie, I'm going to build a forest and I'm going to put Hazel's house here. And we're going to pretend that Hazel runs a little bed and breakfast out in the woods. Here is the finished build, let me know what you think, I really like the way that it turned out. Anyway, I logged on a little bit later and I time traveled to the next day. I did mess up the timer by just a few minutes. But Tiang Shang wanted to leave and I had a campsite visitor. 
I let Tian Shan go because I don't really like his house for this island. And my campsite visitor was Gonzo. He has a nice log cabin, so I bought a plot for him to move in. Plus, for a koala, he is pretty cute. Now, I'm not sure if I've ever spoken to Gonzo with the sound on, but let me tell you, his voice was a jump scare. When he spoke, I was like, because honestly, I always thought he was a lazy villager, but apparently he's a cranky villager. After about 10-15 minutes, he eventually decided to move in. I put his house behind resident services and decided to get right into decorating. I made him a little yard at the back so he can go fishing in the river. I really wish I had some more items though, like I don't even have a bucket. I don't even have the DIY for a bucket. Then in the front yard I planted him a vegetable garden. I really wanted to put some vegetable baskets out as decoration, but not only do I not have any buckets, I also can't seem to find any potatoes. Leaf always seems to have everything but potatoes. I don't mind this build, I think it could have been a lot better with some more items but I'm still pretty happy with the way that it turned out. So now that Tiang Shang has left I can go on a quick villager hunt. I bought three tickets for starters but I didn't have any luck. I decided to grab two more tickets and I'm so glad that I did because on my fifth ticket I found Broccolo. He doesn't fit with the island theme at all because his house is blue but he is my favorite villager of all the villagers. I was so excited to find him. I mean, look at him. He is so cute. For the last build of the video today, I'm going to finish off the main part of the island here. And just in case you missed it, I have officially made it to the halfway mark. Is the island half finished? No. Am I going to get the island finished? Probably not. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Now, the timer only goes up to 24 hours, so it has gone back to zero. So from now on, we're just going to have to pretend that it says the correct time. But let's get right into it. All right, so there you have it. Another build is done. I'm going to do my best to get this island finished within the 48 hour time frame that I have set for myself. I need to take into consideration that I did spend like nine-ish hours at the start trying to get a three-star rating, which I honestly don't know why I bothered with that because I'm not doing any terraforming anyway. 
The only reason why I needed the three stars was so that I could get the Parthing app. And I have barely used any of the in-game Parthing, so I really dropped the ball there. But there's not really much I can do about that now, is there? Yeah, I feel kind of really dumb for that, but you know what? I think with the time that I've got left, I should be able to finish the rest of the island now that I've had a good look at it. Yeah, so, you know, we'll see. We'll see. But that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye.